All right, hey everybody. Uh, this is our web edition of your uh, quick update here. I'm joined alongside John Kutchko, and what do we got here, John? We got some wind-driven snow. Yes, That's really we do. heavy right now, but I'm telling you, I'm concerned about all these wind events compounding, and right. we got another one coming tomorrow. We do. I think we're going to have wind gusts tomorrow to 40 miles an hour. With more of this, this is the back edge of the snow band that has been pushing on through. I'm going to take this off and put the high-res radar on. Mm -hmm. It has stopped snowing now through most of Orleans County. We're going to watch this drop off to the southeast. Figure downtown Rochester, John's got another maybe 30 minutes or so. And then we put this to bed. Now, the rest of you who are driving home over the next few minutes, you're still going to get some snow covered roadways. I think we could still get another half an inch or so out of that, but probably enough to shovel. What do you think? Yeah, I mean, I've been out and about today, yeah. and I went to Mount Hope Cemetery, two, three inches of fresh snow Sounds there. Right. Yeah. And, uh, you know, my big concern are these wind events stacking up on one another. We're not even into official you know, winter yet, right. December 21st, right. and this will be fifth, maybe the sixth, what I would say, wind event. Now, it's not a wind warning and not no. a wind advisory, no, it's not. but on the lakeshore, you've got some potential flooding issues. We do. We have a lakeshore flood watch in effect for Wayne County. That's going to be a tomorrow affair mm -hmm. with winter weather advisories, Orleans, Monroe, and Wayne County. Those mm -hmm. advisories have nothing to do with what we have seen today. We will dry out a bit overnight tonight. Here comes the cold front, though, early tomorrow morning. We'll start in the mid-20s, and we're just going to free fall through the day. Temps by the afternoon are going to be in the teens. We'll have winds that will gust to 40 miles an hour, so that's going to be a wind chill issue. But mm. note, too, John, these are the bands of lake effect snow squalls, and they're not going to be everywhere. They're going to yeah. be very hit or miss. But those that do get hit, you may end up getting a couple inches out of this. And this is kind of what we're thinking from a snowfall map standpoint. Yeah, like you said on the air at 4 o'clock, I mean, this is in some cases very isolated, yeah. but the snowfall total in those hot areas could accumulate quickly. That's exactly right. And you see here where we've got these advisory, we've got it kind of painted that deeper blue. Yeah. Where squalls persist, you will get three to six. That does not mean everybody is getting at least three. Mm -hmm. There will be locations within those counties that end up, yeah, you'll get a burst or two of snow out of that, but it probably does not amount to much. Wind chills by the drive home tomorrow afternoon, minus four in <laughs> Rochester. We'll go down to about 10 below overnight into Thursday morning. So kids at the bus stop Thursday morning. This is going to be a significant deal for them to have to try to stay warm. We will not get above freezing, I think, again until the weekend. And then, John, looking ahead to Saturday and beyond, that goes all the way to Christmas. I think we lean warm, and I think we lean kind of quiet. Yeah, the, and this is, look, you know I love the ice, and I love the snow. Last year, the last week in December, I was able to capture waterfalls that were 70, 80 percent frozen over uh -huh. because we had these extended periods of frigid cold. Right. We're going to get that maybe for 24 to 36 hours, and then it's out of yes. here, and this is balmy by comparison yes, to that. Yes, it absolutely is, and I don't really see a whole lot of evidence that suggests we're going to have any snow around here for Christmas, so this might be a... Oh, come on. You know, we'll see what we can get <laughs> out of the next 36 hours or so, and there might be some left over on the ground in a few spots, but, you know, you get one, two, three, four, five days above freezing, it's going to be tough to see. A whole lot sticking. I can't there. complain. We've no, had a lot of good no, start to winter, and it's not this even. This has winter. been a fun ride so it far. Certainly All right. has. So we're back on air in about 20 minutes. We hope to see you then. We're going to try to do this every day for the rest of the week. Hey, so I enjoyed talking weather, and I love capturing it too. There you go. All right, we'll see you in just a bit, right. guys.